Here it is, the sacrificial lamb that we are going to update to the new Haptic Buzz firmware. Um, we're gonna vesk this board anyway, probably in like the next week. So I figure this would probably be the best one, if any, to do the update on. What we're really looking to find out um, is if it kills NRF and DigiTilt. Um, if it does BMS serialization, that would be a big time bummer because a lot of the old XRs, like this is a 4209, for example, you can just straight swap the components. Like if my controller blows out, I can just slap a whole new controller module in there and it runs just fine. Uh, same with the BMS. It, it, they're not serialized like they are on the 4210 and later XRs and then all the other one wheel models. So that's why these were great. They're fantastic. They're like super modular, easy to repair yourself. Um, but if this update gets rid of the NRF DigiTilt and introduces serialization, then that'll be a huge bummer for the XR community because uh, it's only a matter of time before these don't have um, support from Future Motion anymore as far as repair and warranty stuff goes. Obviously, warranties are toast on these, but um, just repairs in general because they don't work on the V1 anymore. They don't work on the Plus anymore. And then it's only a matter of time before they stop supporting this guy too. So we wanna make sure that when we update, we're still able to repair it ourselves easily and we'll be good to go. So let's jump into it. Um, we're gonna to connect to the board right now and hopefully it updates, it prompts us to update. We shall see. Shoot, I'm not even getting a, uh, Prompt update. Oh, there it is. We got it. We got the prompt update. Okay, let's see. Keep my phone within five feet. Don't use my phone. Um, it looks like it does want us to plug it in as well. So let's plug this guy in. Okay, and here we go. Update. Start update. Start, update, there we go. Now we wait. I'm gonna go get a kombucha while we wait. Come here, bud. Come here. Hey, whoa, 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 what are we doing over here? We're updating one wheels. Okay, updates complete. Says our board is ready to ride. Let's see what we got here. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And looks like we're connected almost. There we go. And it works, cool. Didn't break the board, that is awesome news. But now we gotta find out, can we digi tilt? Is NRF completely disabled? Let's find out. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, normally what you do is you just have it perfectly level. You like put it on a milk crate, or like I use a trash can or whatever um, in order to get it perfectly level. What we're gonna do is we're gonna tilt it like this and then calibrate. Hmm, so far so good. Hey, it worked. That is cool. Okay, so there we go. Confirmed the new Haptic Buzz update for the XR does not disable NRF. You can still digi tilt on it. Um, if digi tilt works, then that means it's also not going to do the serialization. We can still enter factory mode. This is great news. Awesome. There you go. You guys can feel free to update. And the only thing you're going to get from the update, it sounds like, is haptic buzz. So as long as you guys are cool with haptic buzz, there you go. You can go ahead and update and you'll be able to use the app. So there you go. Glad we tested it. Now we know. Um, I don't know. That's that's it. Will we be updating all our boards? I mean, we're just probably going to end up vesking all our old XRs anyway, so probably not. But, um, you know, it is what it is. And there you go. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my Sunday and I'll check you guys later. Float on, my friends.